Oroville residents showed lingering distrust Wednesday night as they voiced concern about loss of access to recreation and questions about hairline cracks in the reconstructed spillway. Related articles Oroville Dam, Spillway Failure Report Delayed, Coming Soon Oroville Dam, Phase 2 of Spillway Construction May Be More Challenging Exclusive Video, How They're Fixing the Oroville Dam Oroville Dam, State Official Says New Spillway Already Has Cracks Oroville Dam, Coalition, Politicians Say D.C. Lobbying Trip A Success Joel Ledesma, State Water Project Deputy Director, Addressed the Cracks Early in His Presentation, reiterating that the Department and Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, determined it was a normal part of the curing process and the integrity of the structure should not be threatened. He also said there was a study of sediment in the Feather River underway, anticipating two big talking points for residents throughout the evening. A few local politicians also shared some words at the start. San Jim Nielsen, R. Red Bluff, brought up his proposed legislation with Assembly Member James Gallagher, R. Yuba City, for a comprehensive safety review as well as a way to better engage the community with the department. He thanked the department for being steadfast in holding community meetings. We're in it all for the long haul, Nielsen said. We are mindful of what this is going to mean to our children and our grandchildren. Bill Connolly, chair of the Butte County Board of Supervisors, urged the community members present to ask tough questions of department officials. Self-described as not a fan of DWR for the last 50 years, Connolly has long said the community was shortchanged by the department, in terms of recreation and economic benefit that was originally promised. One of the things he suggested was having a forensic report conducted for all other dam infrastructure constructed at the same time as the original spillway. It's all relevant, he said. I think you should ask those questions and get them answered. I appreciate they are trying to be more open. I think that's a first step. Gallagher said some of his biggest concerns were a change in culture within the department and a higher standard in the way the dam is maintained and operated. He also said sediment buildup in the river and the impacts on recreation needed to be addressed. Like our Facebook page for more conversation and news coverage from the Bay Area and beyond. We don't want to just repair, he said. That's important but there are a whole lot of other things that need to get done. Department officials reviewed the operations plan for the year and gave an update on Phase 2 of construction, which includes completely repairing the upper portion of the main spillway and building a concrete splash pad and cut-off wall for the emergency spillway. The cutoff wall should be complete in January. Aaron Mellon, DWR Assistant Director of Public Affairs, said the department was working on a comprehensive needs assessment which should be complete at the end of 2019. In that study, other possible contingencies such as fully lining the emergency spillway and adding an entirely new spillway would be looked at, Mellon said.